I hit you up, send you a text, I heard you in my city I keep it subtle just to see if you still messing with me That long distance hitting different cause we ain't committed And when we link you lit it crib and you start walking down I ain't have enough, I ain't have enough I won't get caught up in it, don't wanna fall in love Cause we still young, having fun, I ain't have enough Y'all know what it is. Annual Q&A, Ask AT Part 7, let's get it. Any new mini series and his love game is dropping, I know it's a yes. I decided not to tell y'all when I'm dropping something new because I don't want y'all to be waiting on that because I never know when I'm gonna be able to record these things. So I'd rather just keep it a secret until I'm completely done with it because I'm not. I'm gonna get into more details later, but yeah, if I am, I won't be telling y'all. And is love game still dropping? Yes, it is. I'm gonna be talking more in depth about that too, cause I know part four is not out yet and that's my fault. But like I said, I'm gonna get into that later. Why are you so underrated? Cause it's not my time yet. That's one. What's taking so long for the uploads for mini cuties? I don't know why you said it like that. Um, Quarantine cutie, I'm releasing that bi-weekly. I'm releasing all my videos bi-weekly because I'm very busy now and I don't, I just don't have time to upload every week. So every video I release is gonna be bi-weekly. How do you deal with stress and pressure when doing short films? I don't anymore. To not deal with stress or pressure, keep everything on the low. That's something I had to learn. That's something that I was not doing. Keep everything on the low. Do things in your time and in the time that you can do it. Don't rush yourself. Don't let other people rush you and just keep things a secret until you're completely done with it. When you're writing a short film or whatever you're doing, write what you have access to because I understand that us as creators, we have these big ideas that we want to do and stuff, but if we don't have access to those ideas, those places, um, props and everything, start small first. Work on that other, work on that big stuff later when you actually get to that point and you can have all these places and props and everything. So work with what you have now. It'll be less stress on you, trust me and move at your own pace. That's the most important thing. Do you consider yourself a good friend and how do you handle disrespect in your friend group when it's towards someone not a part of your circle? Um, I am a good friend. Yes, I do consider myself a good friend. And how do I handle disrespect in my friend group when it's towards someone not a part of my circle? Uh, I don't really understand this question. How do I handle disrespect in my friend group when it's towards someone not a part of your circle? If you're not in my circle and like somebody disrespecting you, um, it's not really my business. Yeah, I, I ain't really got nothing to say about that. Like, it, it's not my business. I how do you keep yourself motivated and grounded? Keeping myself motivated was a big thing of mine this year. Um, it was very hard for me to do. The first 60% of this year, like that, like from January to um, like August, September, um, that's like 70%, I don't know. That was literally the time where I didn't fully know what I wanted to do. I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't have the tools and everything to do what I wanted to do. And the pandemic happened, so I was, kind of like, I don't, I don't really know what I should do now because things are so different, but I still made it happen. How I kept myself motivated and how I got back to that motivation, I just did what I could. And when you do what you can, you can accomplish anything, honestly. So I just kept that in mind. I did what I could and I made things happen. I know I'm not really saying much, but I, it's hard to answer that question when I don't really stay motivated, so. Yeah, that's all, I, that's all I can really say. How has 2020 been for you personally and trying to create projects wise and what qualities you think you have adapted or improved during this period? And are you gonna be more consistent in 2021 and what goals have you set for this new year? Um, 2020 has been good for me personally, personal wise. A lot of great things happened this year for me. Um, I started my business finally. I reached 100K obviously and yeah, it's just, a lot, a lot of things was just falling into place and that's, that's what made a good year for, that's what made this year a good year for me. Um, projects wise, I, I think I was doing good as far as that. I could do a lot better. Cause like I said, it's just managing, managing my time as, is a big problem for me. It's been a big issue for me ever since I started YouTube, time management. I could have just managed my time better, but I, I still got what I could get done in a way. The qualities that I think I improved on this year was definitely um, being level-headed and not rushing. I know I'll keep repeating the same thing, but that was my main thing, being level-headed, understanding what I needed to do as far as everything, and just pacing myself and learning more about what I need to do 
I feel like I'm speaking in code right now. I don't know why. I don't know. When I get to the end of the video and when I start answering my questions, I'll go more in depth about everything that happened to me this year. So yeah. And also it's a lot of questions too. So I'm just trying to keep things short. Am I going to be more um, consistent in 2021? Yes, I am. I'm going to get more into that later. Uh, the goals I set for the new year, I'll explain that later at the end of the video. What genre of music do I listen to the most? Uh, R&B. I listen to R&B more than hip hop. I like hip hop. That's like my second favorite genre, but R&B is number one. Did you attend college? And if so, how far, how long and what for? Uh, I did go to college. I went to college for like one and a half years or two years or something like that. I was a film major. But I dropped out because I didn't, I didn't, I don't like school, and I feel like I ain't need college. So, what type of girls do I like, and what type of girls I don't like? The type of girls that I like, I'm very picky when it comes to me liking girls. Looks is a big thing, and personality is a big thing. Pretty sure that's majority of everybody. You gotta look at them first, and then see how their personality is. Um, the type of girls that I like, I like laid back girls. I like girls, I like girls that um, that's real chill. They don't go out as much. They not on every scene. That's just my type of girl. And a girl who's like very supportive, um, being my number one fan and all that. Overall, I just like chill girls. I, I don't like girls that do too much. The type of girls I don't like, I kind of just said it. <laughs> yeah, I don't like girls that do too much. I don't like girls that, that tries to be on every scene. Um, I like a girl that knows when to chill and knows when to go out. If you out all the time, it's like, I don't even know what to say to that. Like, I don't know. I'm. I'm I ain't gonna judge you, but yeah, I would prefer the girl that stays home most of the time. So hey, that's just me. If you want to be buried with something you could use in the afterlife, what would it be? My cameras, definitely my cameras. What's my biggest goal that I have yet to reach? A million subscribers, a million dollars. I'm gonna reach both of them. I'm not worried about it, but that's really it. What does YNFR stand for? And did you all get COVID tests before filming the Among Us film? YNFR stands for your new favorite rapper. I used to rap before I started YouTube and I just kept the name because I didn't feel like changing it. And we and did we all get COVID tests prior to filming Among Us? No, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, no, we didn't. When it comes to me filming with my friends, like I see them all the time and I'm always with them. And I'm not just making an excuse as to why we didn't take a COVID test, but like I never took a COVID test. Yeah, I just never felt the need to. It might sound ignorant to a lot of people, but that, that's just me. Like uh, I'm taking the pandemic serious, but at the same time, I'm still doing what I gotta do. So uh, I don't know, that's that's just my ignorant answer. What's something you regret if you died today? One thing I regret is not speaking up when I need to, when it comes to dating, cause I, I'm, I'm not good at dating at all. Like it's, it's bad. I'm getting better at it, but it's just, I'm still not there yet. So yeah, that's something I would regret not dating enough. Why haven't you collabed with Caleb City or Lenar Young yet? I don't know them personally. I don't know how y'all view me, but 100 subscribe, 100,000 subscribers ain't really nothing compared to these other YouTubers. Like, I don't have connections like that. I don't, I can't call up these big YouTubers and be like, hey, let's collab. Like, I don't, I don't know these people. They don't know me. I'm still down here and they're like, up here. If you were the president of the United States, what laws would you change and why? I don't want to be the president. Definitely would be helping the poor. That would be my main goal is to help the poor. And I'm not just talking about the homeless. I'm talking about middle class, low class people, like people that's struggling and all that. Like my main goal would, would be to help them. I ain't got to help the rich because they're already rich. I ain't, I ain't got nothing for them. Definitely helping everybody. Are you a Christian? Yes, I am. Yes. If you could shoot a movie or a music video for a celebrity, who would it be and why? If I could shoot a movie or a music video, um, a music video definitely for Drake. A movie, um, Will Smith. I would definitely shoot a movie for him and with him. Why? Cause um, you know Drake, my favorite rapper. Will Smith, my favorite actor. So I ain't really got much to say about that. What's the hardest part about making slash editing a video? The hardest part about making a video is writing it. Writing it is the hardest thing for me and it's my least favorite thing to do when it comes to making videos um everything after writing is pretty smooth pretty easy editing the hardest part about editing is finding music and sound effects finding the perfect music for a certain scene it can be a hassle it's like it, that's also my least favorite thing but i love editing so it's kind of fun sometimes when are you going to bring back story times and vlogs if y'all didn't know already i made a vlog channel it's a separate channel it's called AT Vlogs. I need y'all to subscribe to that channel. I'm going to be posting bi-weekly vlogs. The weeks that I'm not posting on this channel, I'm going to be posting on that channel. Hopefully. Um, story times, I really ain't got no stories to tell. If you uh, watch me on live or whatever, that's when I really say my story times. But as far as making the actual story time video, it's not, I don't think it's going to happen. What's the recipe for success? Staying consistent. 
no matter what, believing in yourself, having faith in yourself, praying, applying that pressure to what you would want to do. What do you want to live for the rest of your life? Do you like to travel? If so, where and what kinds of places? What do I want to live for the rest of my life? I haven't figured that out yet. I'm so used to Miami, so probably Miami. I don't know. I'm not really into like branching out and living other places because I don't like the, the idea of starting over. Do I like to travel? I'm not a traveler. I, I've barely been anywhere. So yeah, I'm, I'm not a traveler. Is there anything you learned this year that someone else might need to hear? I learned that literally anything can happen, whether it's good or bad. If something does happen, you have to keep going and work around whatever has happened. That's more of on the bad side, but on the good side, if you are in a bad position right now, just know a whole year can change your life. Always keep that in mind. Like this year probably has been the worst for a lot of people, but next year could be the best thing, the best year that ever happened to you. That's what literally happened to me this year. This year was really good for me. And it was just because like I stayed focused on what I wanted to do and I was learning constantly and just believing in myself, even during the pandemic. If we're being real, the pandemic saved me. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's weird to say, but it's true. Yeah, just believe in yourself no matter what happens. It's hard to say that, but it's, this is living proof. Have you ever thought about making a drastic decision because you felt that life was tearing you down? If yes, then how did you stop yourself from making the worst mistake in life? Um, no, no, I never, whenever I'm down bad or whatever, I still try to weigh out my options. I don't want to do anything that I'm going to regret for the rest of my life or anything. I think about stuff like that because I take that stuff really serious. I can't make a drastic decision without really thinking about it. So nah, that's never happened to me. Growing up, what was one thing you will always remember like a life lesson, for example? Something my parents always told me, something my whole family always told me was to speak up when you don't understand something. Always say something when you don't understand something. Speak up. That I'm I'm still applying that to this day. Cause I didn't I didn't do that when um when I was in school and stuff. Cause I'm I was very I was a very reserved person, shy and all that. And I didn't like I didn't like to talk to people. And I don't like being on the spot. So when it came down to school and stuff, when I didn't understand something, I would just try to figure out myself without asking a teacher or something. And yeah, in life, you can't do that. You you can try to figure it out for yourself, but if you really don't know, it's best to ask. So that's a lesson that I still apply to my life to this day. Have you been finding it easier to find actors for your series and videos? Male-wise, yeah, because I don't know. I, I don't want to say this, but I feel like it's true. I feel like males are more reliable than females when it comes to video production. I don't know why. I, I've been getting that since um, I started making videos. Like males are a lot more reliable. I've never had a male flake out on me. Finding actresses is the hardest thing. I don't know why. It's, it's weird to me, I don't know. But it's like half and half. It, yes, it's gotten somewhat easy. No, it's still a struggle, so. Did COVID affect any of your plans for filming? It did at first, as it started to, every, as everything started to open back up, I just worked around COVID and I tried to do what I could. So I'm not letting this pandemic stop me from filming. Like, I'm, I'm not doing that. A lot of people, they, they stopped everything because of this pandemic. And I understand you trying to stay safe and everything, but I'm not stopping my life for anything. I don't care what it is. I'm not finna do that. Now nah, I try to be as safe as possible. Um, be, be cautious about everything, but still I'm not stopping. That's that's not happening. What were your highs and lows this year? My highs was, like I said, starting my business, making my business official, getting a million views in a month or less than a month, uh, hitting 100K subscribers, getting my plaque. It's, it's up there. I ain't gonna show y'all. Y'all seen it already. Getting my plaque. Those are my highs um, and just making making money, making a lot of money. Um, my lows this year, I'm gonna always go back to dating because dating is a big problem for me. It was always a problem for me, but now it's just, I don't wanna say that I don't have time to date. I'm not making the time to date. I can make the time if I want to. Anybody can make time for what they wanna do, but I'm just not putting in effort to go out there and date because I don't wanna try it and I'm just so busy to the point where like, I'm not even texting whoever I'm dating or talking to or whatever. Like, I'm not trying to go through that, but I will get better at it. I'm, I'm gonna eventually try to, well, next year I will be doing that. Like, I will be dating and stuff, so. Still getting a dog? Uh, not right now, not right now. I don't want a dog right now. Oh, it's a lot of questions, I ain't gonna lie. Who would you rather be, Batman or Superman? Uh, Superman, I'm gonna be Superman. Superman, yeah. 
No, Batman. Batman, Batman. Yeah. He's a regular person and he knows all this these this knowledge and stuff and has all these gadgets. So I'm gonna say Batman. Do you like DC or Marvel and why? I like DC because of the flash. I like Marvel because of everyone else. I don't really have a reason why. It's, that does that's really my reasons. When and where were you born? Miami. Um, do you have siblings? Yes, I have two sisters. Y'all never seen them before, but yeah, I do have two sisters. Will you do more videos of your clones? Yes. I know y'all haven't seen the clones in a minute, but yeah. They, they will be coming back. I don't know when, but they will be coming back. How to get to your first a thousand subscribers? Consistency, man. There's no, there's no, no cheat code. There's no cheat code. Just being consistent and just making the kind of videos that you want to make. And if something is trending, like you can make a video that'll do good, but make it in your own style. Don't copy what everybody else is doing. Make it your own way. What made you start filming? I started YouTube just to talk, just to make like rants or whatever. But what made me want to start actual film? I've always wanted to try it. Like I, I watched a lot of Spoken Reasons and his short films and stuff. And I'm just like, I want to try this out. I want to see if I can make a film or make a series or something. So it was just out of curiosity. And now it, it's my favorite thing to do. It's, it's, it's my passion now. It's what I'm meant to do. So it worked out perfect. Any new merch coming? Probably, most likely. I, I can't really answer that, but eh, probably, yeah. What are your favorite characters from any series or movie, etc.? <sighs> Goofy, Max, and this is just random too. Barry Allen from The Flash, Franklin from Snowfall, that's it. What's the song called to your intro? Friends with Benefits by myself, FWB. It's out on all platforms, you can get it anywhere. I really feel like that song should blow up, but I'm not a rapper, it don't matter. Who's your best friend? My best friend is, that's my best friend. I know y'all never seen her before, she lives in Orlando. Yeah, she's never been in any of my videos, but she is definitely, she definitely supports me in what I do. This is a grocery list and I told her this is a grocery list. I have a grocery list of questions that I have to answer. And after that, I have like three more. So I'm almost done. Let's get to this. What's a body part you don't mind losing? <sighs> I'm gonna go ahead and say my foot because I need everything else. I need my foot, I'll I, I, I get rid of my foot. What are some things that sound like a compliment but really is an insult? Um, I think saying you're cute, but there should be no but. If you're saying I'm cute, but there's a but after that, you about to insult me. So I don't care what you said previously. I don't care about that you're cute anymore because once you say that but, and then you find a flaw about me, I'm not cute anymore to you. So there's no point of you saying you're cute, but there should be no but. It's either I'm cute or I'm not. So yeah. If you could be any other Zodiac, what sign would you be? I ain't, I don't want to be no other Zodiac. Um, I'm cool with being a cancer. Well, I, I love being a cancer, so I'm cool. What has something started out bad, but ended up doing going great and that's a good question damn i don't really know it's that's i feel like i have the answer but i just can't think of it right now and i don't want to sit too long on this question um i don't know i something probably happened but I, I don't have the answer right now what's the most expensive thing you broke in damn i'm very good with taking care of my stuff does a cracked iphone count I cracked my iPhone 6 a couple years ago and it was cracked really bad. So I guess you could say it was broke, but it, it still worked though. It was still working, but yeah, that, that's like the main thing. Cause I I'm, I take care of my stuff. So I ain't, ain't no breaking around here. <laughs> Which mythical creature do you wish actually existed? I feel like a Pegasus would be cool to like ride a, uh, a Pegasus. It'd be scary, but hey. It'd probably be normal. How do you recharge slash what's your favorite way to relax? Laying in my bed, just being there. Like I, I, I love laying in my bed. Like I, I just feel relieved of everything. So I ain't got to do much. I can be on my bed, on my phone, on my laptop. As long as I'm in my bed, I am relaxed. Are you more afraid of failure or success and why? I'm more afraid of success. It used to be failure, but you can do anything that you put your mind to. So I'm more afraid of success because my dreams are very big and I don't have the doubt that I can't do it or I won't be successful in doing it. But it's just the fact that when I get to this point, there is no going back. There is a going back, but your life will, will, will change and you can't go back to being a normal person. So that's the scary part about it, in my opinion. Like just getting to that point and not being able to go back and now you have to maintain this image or maintain this business just so you can live live comfortable. So that's, 
that's that's what I'm scared of. Even though I want that, I'm scared of it. But I'm not gonna quit because I want it. If you could change anything about the way you were raised, what would it be? I was raised pretty good. I don't have anything that I regret when it comes to like my parents raising me. They all taught me great things that I still use to this day. Of course, there's a lot of things that I learned myself that they that they didn't tell me, but still, like I, I appreciate them for raising me the way that I, the way that I am. I, I feel like, well, I know that I'm a gentleman. I treat people with respect, and I'm I'm just a good person overall. So they raised the king, and they raised that nigga, cause I'm that nigga. <laughs> Describe your dream vacation. My dream vacation, and this is I'm just talking like with my significant other type stuff. My dream vacation is to go to Hawaii. I don't know why. But I feel like Hawaii is a vibe. I would love to go there with my girlfriend, whoever she's gonna be, and just just vibe, take pictures, uh, maybe video vlog it or whatever. But yeah, I feel like that's my dream vacation. But just going somewhere really nice. The world is big. I don't know any other places out there, but Hawaii is definitely on my list. All right, the grocery list is finished. Thank you, Kaya, appreciate you. How do you stay motivated after doing YouTube for so long? It sounds like I answered this question before, but it's totally different. Stay motivated after doing YouTube for so long. I'm not where I wanna be yet. Hitting 100K was dope. That is, That was my first goal. It's my third goal. It was my third goal to hit 100K. It was the biggest one so far, but I still have work to do. It's, there's no point of being comfortable right now because I have a silver plaque. I need that gold plaque, the plaque that's two times bigger than that one. If possible, I wanna get that diamond plaque that 10 million plaque. Knowing that this is not the last step. This is not the final part of my journey. I have more work to do. Do I work outside of YouTube? Yes, I have my own business and I still work with my dad. So I have uh, I have multiple sources of income. If I was just doing YouTube, I would be broke because YouTube money is not consistent at the moment. So yeah, I need these other jobs. But plus my business is my main priority, so. Yeah. Last question, what do you plan on doing next year on YouTube? <sighs> what I plan on doing next year is confidential. I don't wanna tell y'all anything, just like I said earlier. I don't wanna tell y'all anything that I have planned for next year as far as YouTube because I don't want y'all to expect these things and God forbid it doesn't happen or it doesn't happen in the time that I tell y'all that it's gonna happen. Cause I have a bad way of saying things and it's just not finished or it's not coming out on time. So I'm stopping that this year. That is, that's done. Just know I will be doing a lot this year, but I'm not gonna tell y'all what I'm gonna be doing. Just expect whatever, expect anything from me without a time limit as well. So that is the end of the questions. Um, My new year's resolution, my new year's resolution is to manage my time better. Cause like I said, my time management is terrible. That's with anything, with YouTube, with work. I'm just terrible at being on time for anything and planning out my days when I have a lot to do. I'm terrible at doing that. Cause I'm gonna be late to something or I'm gonna forget that I have to do something. So that's what I, that's what I definitely need to work on. Time management is so important. Cause I was just, looking back on all the projects that I've done and how they're not finished and stuff. And I know, y'all know that I don't be finishing my projects. Sometimes it's my fault, sometimes it's not. But either way it goes, I have to take the blame because it's my channel and it's my project. So I'm just not, I'm not trying to not finish a project anymore. Like I can't, I can't do it no more, I can't. There will be content dropped this year. I'm just not gonna tell y'all when, just trust me. That's all I can say. When I promote whatever I'm doing, I will be complete done with it because I'm not promoting something and I'm not done with it because that's giving y'all false hope in a way in my mind I don't know that I'm not going to finish this finish this for whatever reason but something always happens to the point where I cannot finish it love games for an example the pandemic happened okay that was a good excuse like I couldn't film because of the pandemic I rewrote the whole script worked it around the pandemic I actually started to film and I stopped I stopped because there was one thing that I was trying to do and I could not get it done because of scheduling issues. I just gave up filming on that. I still want to do it. I still, I, I'm still going to finish it. But at the time, I was just like, you know what? Let me just put this on hold for now. Let me work on something else. I don't want to do that no more. I want to finish whatever I am putting out, then work on the next project. Because I really have a bad habit of working on something mid project and then, ooh, I came up with a new idea. Let me start on this. So now I'm working on two things at once. 
I ain't trying to do that no more. Cause one of them is not gonna be finished. I'm not doing that no more. Love games will be done this year. I'm not giving y'all a time frame because I don't know when, I don't know how things are gonna go, but I'm gonna try my best to finish this last part because it's literally, it's literally one more part to do. So there should be no excuse as to why I didn't finish, but just know it will be done. The rest of my New Year's resolutions are to start my business plan. I'm not gonna talk about that, that's confidential. Start my business plan, get more clientele, and what I'm already doing for my business, date more. I said this so many times in this video. I need to, I need to start. If y'all seen Quarantine Cutie, that is how I act in real life. I don't know how to DM a girl. Never did. Well, I did before, but I, I just, I, I, it's so much pressure that doesn't need to be there, and so much overthinking that doesn't need to be done. And that's why I don't, I'm not dating at the moment. Cause I'm just, I'm terrible at it. I'm, I, I, I can't slide the DMs. I can't approach a girl. It's just too much. And a nigga about to be 25 next year. I'm not, I'm not going through this again. So I'm going to get better at that. I'm going to just be myself and just go for it. Yeah. I'm not saying I need a girlfriend, but why not date? Date around and stuff. Like, ain't nothing wrong with that. But that is, that is one of my things that I need to do this year. That I'm going to do this year. Everything else Content will be made, like I said, but I'm not telling y'all when things are going to drop. I'm not going to tell y'all what I'm working on unless I just post it. It's Everything's going to be a secret. Just know I am I will be working, and this year will be a very busy year. If it's anything, if it's going to be better than this year, I'm going to be busy, like very busy. <sighs> Man, I think that's it. Once again, I made a vlog channel. Y'all go subscribe to that channel, AT Vlogs. That's all you got to type. It's gonna pop up. I'm releasing a vlog soon. Don't ask me when, but it's coming soon. So go over there and subscribe to that channel. This year will be life changing. 2020 was life changing for me, but it's gonna be even more life changing. It's only gonna get better. Keep that in mind for yourself and just keep doing what you're doing. Keep going, like don't stop and learn as much as you can. Never stop learning, never stop growing. I hope that everybody has a successful year and I hope COVID goes away because I'm tired of wearing a damn mask. And God, I am tired of wearing a mask, man. That's the most annoying thing going out. But yeah, I'm gonna see y'all when I see y'all.